Hello, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute film strip border using the roller coaster punch. I'm also using the Imagine That collection of paper from Creative Memories. I've used mats, um, stickers, embellishments, and the paper from this pack. You will also need some black and white cardstock to create this border. First, using your black cardstock, you'll punch your border with the roller coaster punch. If you haven't used these punches before, let me show you how. There's two markings on the front of the punch. That is to help you line up your paper. You can line your paper up from the right or the left side up to that line. When you've done so, punch and then gently slide your paper along. Line it up with the pattern on the other side and keep going across your page. Make sure you slide straight across or the little flags will get caught. Fortunately, we're not using them for this project. They're going to get cut off. Then we're going to trim our paper to four and a quarter inches. And we'll punch again. This time I'll show you, we can go from left to right. All done. Now using scissors we're going to cut the flags and the hills off of the outside so we're going to be leaving one row which is what's going to create this film strip look. You can also use your straight trimmer if you can line it up exactly, but I found when I did that, I ended up having to tidy it up with scissors. So scissors worked just as good. And done. So now we've got our film strip border and we just have to fill in the rest. To do that, I'm just gonna cut some white cardstock and I lost my white cardstock. Oh, here it is. Into a two inch strip. And you could make that a little bigger or a little smaller, just depending on what you want to do. And then I'm going to do one and three, hmm, yeah, one and three eighths. And that is to make the inside edges. Enough. 
Only one more. We're going to stick these on. And then you can decorate the inside of the film strip with photos even, if you like. But I had used the new camera punch, the double heart punch that I had on hand, and I also used the embossed shutter for some of the other embellishments on the page. But you can use whatever punches you have on hand. And I'd really like to try and use this layout using some small photos inside. I think that would look great. So when you're ready to decorate the inside, you can use the embossed camera punch. And what I did to make my page was I just used two different patterns of cardstock or pattern paper. And I just cut the bottom piece at about five inches, adhered it on top of the other one, and then I added my border on top. Add a quick mat from the mat pack, a shutter punch using this guy up in the corner in the bottom, and an embellishment, one of the layered embell embellishments from the embellishment pack. And so that is how you can make a film strip order using the roller coaster punch. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and if you make this project as always I'd love to see it so please post it on my Facebook page at scrapbooking with Joanne. Cheers!